Hi everyone, this is Cambridge Primary Mathematics Workbook 2. We are going to solve the page number 162. Here is a question. The teacher pointed to the place on the counting stick. Which multiplication facts could this represent? So here is the multiplication fact which this pointing stick shows. There is a one block here which is white and the other is blue one white one blue one white one blue one white one blue one white one blue so we will notice the pointer when we count these blocks um one two three four five six seven the pointer so, is so on number seven so we will make the multiplication fact here seven one the seven or one seven the seven so the next question is which pair of equivalent multiplication facts do these cubes represent if you notice that on the upper side there there are the four cubes sorry there are the eight cubes so the multiplication facts would be eight one the eight or one eight the eight and uh, if you see beneath there there are the four pairs so four pairs means each pair have two cubes so four multiplied by two equals to eight and two for the eight dear students we can give the statement here if even number is multiplied with odd number the product will always be even um, <clears throat> six multiplied by three equals to 18. Uh, this is the investigation which they demanded we can, we can read the question the products in some multiplication tables have the pattern odd even odd even other have only even products what they what is that so we discussed it that if the number are even and multiplied with an odd number the product will always be even and if odd number is multiplied with an even number the case will remain same the product will always b even 7 multiplied by 2 equals to 14 the answer will be even in this case also so this is about the page number 162 let's move on the page number 163 complete the multiplication table for 5 use it to write the division facts let's have the concept about the division 5 multiply 1 equals to 5 5 divided by 5 equals to 1 5 is divided with 5 it gives the answer as 1 5 multiplied by 2 equals to 10 10 divided by 5 equals to 2 okay first of all we should consider that in the uh, multiplication fact we will take the answer and consider it as the first main number and we will divide it with the other number so 5 multiplied by 2 equals to 10 and the answer will be taken as the first number for the division uh, 10 divided by 5 equals to 2 5 multiplied by 3 5 is a 15 10 divided 15 divided by 5 3 5 the 15 we will take the product in the multiplication fact we will take this product as a dividend 15 is the dividend 5 is the divisor and 3 is the quotient so 5 multiplied by 4 20 20 divided by 5 equals to 4 i hope you are getting my point 5 multiplied by 5 equals to 25 5 25 divided by 5 equals to 5 5 5 the 25 5 6 the 30 6 5 the 30 5 7 the 35 7 5 the 35 5 8 the 40 8 5 the 40 5 9 the 45 9 5 the 45 5 10 the 50 and 10 5 the 15 and so on let's move on the page number 164 okay question 2 is write that inverse inverse means opposite division fact for each multiplication fact 2 multiplied by 6 equals to 12 so we will take this product as the dividend 12 divided by 6 equals to 2 1 multiplied by 8 equals to 8 8 divided by 1 equals to 8 10 multiplied by 4 equals to 40 40 divided by 10 equals to 4 5 3 the 15 15 divided by 5 equals to 3 3 5 the 15 
okay let's read the question number 3 when a product means the answer of this multiplication fact and the quotient have the same value quotient what is the quotient quotient is the answer of the division procedure the fact are the equals in value as you see in the upper example 2 6 the 12 and 6 to the 12 they have given you example here 6 multiplied by 1 equals to 12 divided by 2 2, uh, two 6 the 12 write the multiplication or division fact with the same value as the given fact write the multiplication fact if the given fact is a division and a division fact if the given fact is a multiplication 2 for the 8 divided by uh, <coughs> 8 divided 1 equals to 1 uh, sorry 8 1 8 the 8 1 multiplied by 3 3 1 the 3 or if you can see this 3 divided by 1 equals to 3 okay so we will see the page uh, see the question number 4 is each division fact the equivalent to finding 1 by 2 or 1 by 4 division fact 8 divided 2 4 1 by 2 1 by 2 of 8 equals to 4 12 divided 4 equals to 3 3 4 the 12 and 1 by 4 of 12 is 3 4 3 the 12 20 divided 4 equals to 5 1 by 4 equals of 20 is 5 4 5 4 5 the 20 10 divided by 2 equals to 5 1 by 2 of 10 is 5 5 2 the 10 so this is page number 164 we will solve the uh, next pages in the other videos Stay tuned, stay blessed, Allah Hafiz.